a quick video on a priori knowledge and platonic forms today. Uh, Platonism tends to get a lot of crap today, I, although I don't think it's really deserved, and I have a, a quick proof as to why I think it's valid, and it only requires uh, two premises. First of all is the fact that knowledge is possible, and the second one is Gödel's incompleteness theorem. So we look at the first premise, we know that's automatically true because if knowledge is not possible, then it means that we know that we don't know, which is an automatic contradiction in terms. So therefore, knowledge is possible. Then Gödel's incompleteness theorem states that we can't have a, we can't prove a system from within itself. You can't have uh, any any system is going to be either incomplete or inconsistent, and you can't be both complete and consistent at the same time. And so, uh, example of this, how this works is, let's say you have a a system of elements A through I, and you can prove I and H in terms of G. You can prove uh, F and E in terms of D, and you can prove D and G in terms of A, B, and C. Well now, let's try and go down farther, and you try and prove A, B, or C in terms of one of the other two, you automatically end up with a tautology. All you have left is two elements in your system. The system becomes a tautologist and circular, and there's no more elements in the system to explain the remaining elements with. And so because of that, you have to prove A, B, and C from outside of themselves. Well, the trouble with this is, is if we can't prove A, B, or C, then we don't know if they're true or not, right? So we have to go back and get more premises and base those up to prove them, but then those premises could be false also, and then we have this infinite regress, and we can never know if our premises are really true or not. And so the only way around this, because we know that knowledge is possible, and if we have this infinite regress, knowledge is not possible, the only way around this is if we say that the premises just sort of terminate at some point at a a priori foundation. So we know, you know, G and H and all the other elements because we know that A, B, and C are a priori true to begin with. And now there are some people in the logical positivist camp that uh, they like to say that only a posteriori knowledge is possible and a priori knowledge is, is not really knowledge at all. Uh, the trouble with this is, is you can't prove positivism from within itself. That violates Gödel's incompleteness theorem. So in order to have a posteriori knowledge, you have to have an a priori foundation for that knowledge. Now we, we could very well be brains in vats somewhere and we might not know it. Now there are, argue, there are valid arguments against why this is relevant and I, I buy that. I don't think that it's you know worthwhile kind of fretting over whether we are brains in vats. However the arguments against that require a priori knowledge which is not a posteriori at all. And so therefore whether or not you start with you know, a priori knowledge or you have you try and go the logical positivist route you can't really escape Tonic forms. Well, that's all for now. See you guys.